don't say thank you, Harry, for that, uh, for everything that you've been doing. Harry Wu is a personal hero of mine. He's a true champion of, uh, of human rights. And uh, as we know, he was uh, the leader in organizing today's press conference. I'd like to give you my uh, deepest apologies, but we're in the middle of votes that are going to take the last an hour and a half. But neither Harry nor I ever mind getting interrupted by votes because that's democracy in action. He doesn't have it in his native homeland. I don't have it in mine. I was born in Cuba. We would love it when an event would be disrupted by votes. But the research, uh, research that Harry presented to me uh, and, uh, and his foundation in my congressional office earlier this week is a stark and uh, a very instructive reminder of the uh, parentage of uh, China's communist regime and that when it comes to human rights uh, in today's China, not much has changed. The regime in China today actively suppresses the truth of its heritage and is terrified that the Chinese people will discover the truth. This is the regime that as powerful as it is, is afraid of voices like Harry Wu's. They're afraid that the Chinese people will find out the truth about the regime's founding father, Chairman Mao, a man they continue to honor and glorify as a hero. They are afraid that Mao and his communist ideology, the foundation they built their regime upon, will be discovered as the lie that it is. They are afraid that if the Chinese people know that tens of millions, think of that, tens of millions who starved during the Great Leap Forward died, not from natural disasters, but as a result of the destructive policies of Chairman Mao. If they know that the persecution, the tortures, the executions of the Cultural Revolution were a direct result of Mao's ideology, the same ideology that exists in China today, the regime will collapse. They know it. Thanks to brave dissidents like Harry Wu and the work of his research foundation, the truth about Mao and his legacy will not be suppressed forever. With regime celebrations of Mao's 120th birthday planned for next month, it is urgent that we continue to fight back against this myth of Mao and the human rights abuses that were performed in his name. As a refugee from Cuba, I know about cults of personality like that of Mao. I constantly fight to dispel the myth of Che Guevara, a mass murderer who is still romanticized around the world today by those who don't know this legacy of hatred, of murder, of bigotry. The myth of Che Guevara hurts millions who suffer under tyrannical communist regimes that promote terror, injustice, and lawlessness while denying the Cuban people basic human rights like freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom uh, in the legal system. We fight daily to tell the truth about the communist regime in Cuba, and I'm proud to stand with those like Harry Wu to show the world that communist China still suffers from severe human rights violations. Thanks to activists like Harry Wu, the Chinese regime cannot hide that it brutally represses its people, that it illegally detains political opposition, that it restricts their rights to assemble, that it, it, does, it uh, obstructs them from receiving a fair, free, and transparent trial. We know that Falun Gong practitioners are trying to practice their religion in peace, and they suffer and die in forced labor camps. We know that these gruesome practices of harvesting organs from China's prisoners of conscience continues. And we know from the State Department's recent uh, human rights report by the countries that Chinese authorities are increasingly seeking out and silencing individuals who dare to speak out against the regime. I'm proud to have introduced uh, resolutions this year and in the years past that condemn the practice of organ harvesting, that demand an end to the persecution of Falun Gong and other uh, religious uh, practitioners that seek the immediate release of all prisoners of conscience, and I will continue to call attention to these issues every time I can. While we have important global security concerns, financial, trade, corruption issues inside China, we must remember to never stop calling attention to the regime's human rights abuses. We are lucky, fortunate, blessed to live in a country that guarantees our right to speak 
speak out, to criticize, to speak freely in support of our ideas, in support of our religion, in support of our beliefs. And as Harry says, it is our duty to speak out on behalf of those who cannot. Harry, I am always blessed to be by your side. Wherever you are standing, there stands justice. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Thank you. And I regret, but not really, that I have to go vote because, like I say, getting interrupted for democracy is always a good thing. Harry, I love you, my friend. Thank you. Do good work. Thank you.